Hey guys, welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to be looking at making a very basic and very simple pencil brush. Um, by that I mean, so it's more like um, pencil and paper, a custom brush that would help you make a brush that looks like a sketch pencil, I guess. Um, the reason I'm making this is because I've looked online um, when I wanted to make one myself and there's not that many videos on it and the one the videos that are on it are about 30 minutes long um, and some of them I, I followed and they didn't even work anyway so I thought I'd try and make this really simple video hopefully quite a short one too um, and hopefully it'll help you so first of all I'm gonna create a new canvas and I'm gonna make it 500 by 500 this is just what I use for pretty much any time I'm making a custom brush uh, I wouldn't go above this, I'm not sure if you can go above that or not for custom brushes uh, but that's going to make a very large custom brush and we will make that smaller afterwards so make a new layer, I always do it on a separate layer to the background you maybe don't have to, I'm not too sure but first things first start on about up here set this to about 80, if you don't have this you might be on this already, you can just select your grey from here or even from the colour picker down here that's absolutely fine uh, at the moment I'm just liking this uh, I don't know what you actually call it colour slider you, if you do want that grayscale sorry losing my words grayscale slider there right so that's set on about 80 pick this default brush here the second one along I think it's just a hard brush with basically no no other settings on and what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the brush setting menu if you don't have this it should if you click on window and I've lost it brush there you go that should make it appear there so keep this open and that's what we're left with so far turn on scattering it gives you a preview down here so you can see what's happening um, if it doesn't quite look like that it's probably just you've got this turned down so this one you want to turn up I'm keeping my brush at about size 20 and what we're going to do is basically in fact no, we also need on transfer and what this does is just the lighter you press the more uh, you know the opacity is, is turned down opacity is turned down sorry so you can see that so what we're going to do is try and make a brush just out of them and that might actually work not the neatest thing ever but all I did there was have scatter turned on and drag my brush uh, we'll try that. I mean, you might want to spend a little bit more time to make it a little, you know, a little bit more perfect. For example, um, right. So what we do is edit, define brush preset, and call it whatever you want. Pencil brush. Four. Because I've already got a few. Right. Next, load up another canvas. I'm just using the, um, I think it's the US size or whatever it's called but you can use anything right this is what we're left with so far you should have something that looks like this lovely pencil <laughs> right first things first turn on click on brush tip shape and you want to change the spacing you can see what that does there you want to turn that right down so that it's smoother um, you probably don't actually need it down that low especially the smaller you have it the less it might be noticeable. I'm going to turn it down low, but um, I think the lower you have it, I think it, if you don't have a very good PC, it might cause it to lag a bit. Right, so first thing you want on is shape dynamics. And what this basically controls, as you can see here, is the lighter you press down with your pen, um, the thinner it is, and then the harder you press down, the thicker it is. Pretty self explanatory. Right, so on shape dy dynamics, you might need to have, you might need to set the control to pen pressure. Uh, this is for using graphics tablets. Right, so we'll keep that like that, and we will add transfer as well, like we did earlier. So now you should be left with something that looks similar to this. If you press down lightly, it should sort of fade out a little bit. Although you can't really tell on that. Check my transfer settings are all right. You can adjust these a little bit. There you go, that's why <laughs> pen pressure wasn't turned on. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> right, also turn on noise. 
which just fuzzes it up a bit, you can't really tell. And if I make this brush a lot smaller, it should already be looking a lot like a pencil. I don't want to zoom in too far because of how pixelated it will be. Um, but what I also do when using this is I turn the opacity down to about 80%. And then you can just sort of build up. Uh, I find it works better the smaller the brush you use. But obviously it depends what size canvas you're working on. And then you can just sort of build up your lines, you know, to your preferred style. I, I keep it on a dark grey up here. I don't usually go to black, but black will work. Uh, the harder you press down, it doesn't look as good if you're pressing down hard. It doesn't look like a pencil. But uh, that's not really the intent of this brush. It's for sketching. So, yeah. And what else? While we're here, you could play around with these settings um, for any kind of brush, not just a pencil brush. You can come up with some really cool stuff, actually. It's a lot of fun. But one other thing you can add, you could leave it at that and use that as a pencil. As I say, it works the thinner you've got it the better it works and the lighter you press the thinner it is but you could turn on texture and I don't think any of these are my textures I think the ones that come with it and I'm just gonna use this one here you could play around with the settings and stuff I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too much into that now because I haven't really played around with it myself but it's, it, it's quite nice to use actually um, you, as long as you're watching this in a good quality, uh, depending on what you've clicked on YouTube, you should be able to see it's quite a grainy, textured effect that you get. And that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing to note, transfer, that I've clicked here, on older versions of Photoshop is not called transfer. I think it's called other dynamics, so just bear that in mind. And as I say, you could play around, uh, probably make this a lot better, use a better texture, Maybe adjust the actual brush on here, play around, see what you can come up with. Then all you need to do is save the brush. So maybe keep it whatever size you want. So for me that's size 27. And you right click. Or for me that is the extra button on the, um, on the pen. And what you do is you click on this button here to create a new preset from the brush that you're currently using. So then call that, you know, whatever you want. Spell it right, unlike me, though. <laughs> and you could probably delete the one, the original one. So that's what we've just made. That's what we started with. You could right-click and delete that, or you could keep it so you can play around with it any time. And yeah, that's it. Hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did, and yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think. Cheers, guys.